dorsal fin. We're going to gently pop that hook out. Make sure there's no scale on the tip of that hook. So here's our sunfish. Now we're going to throw them out here. Hey, what's going on, Catterman and Catter women? It is your boy, the Catterman, here again to show you guys another edition of the Catfish Basics 101. Today we're going to talk about something very important, hook selection. Preferably not rusty hook selection, new hook selection. But we're going to talk about the two types of hooks that I use to catch catfish. And uh, while doing that, we're also going to catch some catfish. You ready? I'm here with Catter Kid, ready to do this. Alright, so we already know how to make our basic catfish rigs. We already also know how to catch our basic catfish bait. We got the bait over there. We have the rigs right over here, guys. Pretty straightforward. And when it comes to kale hooks, I like to use these only for live bait. And especially with flatheads. And for chunk bait, I like to use circle hooks. Now, this right here is a Gamakatsu octopus circle hook that's offset, so it goes out. The kale hooks are offset too, so we're going to talk about that real quick too. Let's grab some bait. So we've got a sunfish right here, and we're going to put him on a kale hook. So this is really important. See how this hook point is offset, and it's going out to the left here? So we want the maximum amount going up out over here. So what you're going to do is... We're going to take this kale hook, we're going to find this fine line, you're going to see that spinal line right here, you never want to hit that, so don't go on that or below that. See, spinal line is right here, we're going to go right above that, right here at the end of the top dorsal fin. We're going to gently pop that hook out. Dorsal fin. We're going to gently pop that hook out. Make sure there's no scale on the tip of that hook. So here's our sunfish. Now we're gonna throw them out here. And see if you can catch us something. In case you guys are interested in what kind of gear we're using, check down the description. Watch out, Andrew. It's Cat, Cat or kid. kid to you. Alright, so we got the live bait out. Let's grab a cup bait. Here we go. We gotta we're gonna make this quick. We're not gonna show you this. So now we're gonna make sure we're gonna take some scissors and just make sure you cut the fins off. I'm going to talk about the best presentation of your hooks in another video. We'll talk about it further then. All right, so we got our cut bait over here. And what we're going to do with this cut bait and the circle hook is you're going to come right down at the bottom of the lip right here for the head of the sunfish. And we're going to come out the nostril. So now you've got a nice gap exposed for that circle hook, and that's what you need. So we're going to throw that out there. Yeah. That's what you call that. And there you go. So we're just gonna throw that out really far out and then we'll be we'll be set. Gotta do you gotta set that hook with a kill no dude that's, that's awesome dude, did you see that? this is why I love catching catfish with live bait it's so exciting the white catfish too that's not even a channel dude, let's take a look at this buddy huh uh, we also have a dead turkey over here you, uh, and this is the, these are the splendors of um, being near Camden yeah, you get to, uh, get to see that right there, yeah. All right, buddy boy. And I'm going to show you in the next video how to hold a catfish correctly. So now, so as you saw, I just went back, I made sure there was tension on the line with the fish, and I set it, I yanked it back. And that's how you got to do with kale fish, I mean, kale hooks and J hooks. So here we go. Beautiful, pretty, 
big old white catfish on a small sunfish. All right, well, let's cast the next uh, live sunfish out. Dude, that feels way better. What the heck is that? All right, guys, we're hook, hooked up to the next fish. You probably couldn't see that, but I had to quickly set the hook on that fish. And yeah, that's a nice channel, catfish. Took, right. took a couple of tries. He came for that bait a couple of times. Again, guys, it looks like the live sunfish is really doing work over here. Cut bait's not getting any love. like. And this is why I don't like to use kale hooks for a channel catfish, because it ends up always taking their eyes out. That's a beautiful channel catfish. Look at that. You can't even see him. <laughs> Cat, Cat or kids having some issues with the camera right now. But here we go, beautiful channel catfish. Always remember to wet your hands before you touch fish. You don't want to remove that slide. Well, hopefully we can get you guys a actual circle hook set on video but as you can see to set a hook with a J hook is very direct now with of course the live bait you got to wait a little bit and really let them fully eat it and because we did that that is why we we have been able to have such good hook sets with these small sunfish the biggest key I can tell you about using the circle hooks instead is to set the hook in the rod holder. That's what I do and it's what makes me very successful doing this. So what I do is I wait until I see the rod bend over. When I see the rod bend over, I grab the rod right down here in the holder. And especially with this quick gear ratio that this reel has, which is 6.3 to one, you can reel in really quickly and set that hook really fast. So that's what we're gonna do then. I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna reel really quickly and then we're gonna set the hook. And that's how you do it. Steady pressure, you don't do a quick jab. fish guys on the big sunfish head now he literally with circle hooks that's how it will happen he literally just set the hook on himself like all I literally did was give it a slow heave back knowing I already had pressure on the hook so just as we're about to leave guys we're pulling a pretty big channel catfish up over here I can holy well I tightened the line huh? earlier I tightened the line earlier did good on that. saw a little slack in the line in the breeze a big guy. Is that a big? That's a nice size channel catfish, dude. All right, let's let's get down here. That's a nice channel catfish, dude. That's real nice. Like I was trying to show you guys, these circle hooks perfectly set in the corner of the fish's mouth. Look at that. See, and circle hooks come out really easy. So now we're gonna give him this piece of sunfish. And I like to do this as a treat for some of these fish. He's getting a nice piece of free bait. And here we have a beautiful Cooper River Channel catfish Mwah. on a big sunfish head. Smooch. I can't escape the splash. I just can't. 